Yo, what it be cats, my escape 20 here, and today guys what I have for you here today is boss fight number 40 against Son of Cromorax, and uh, this is from the newest headhunter pack that came out today, April 15th, and uh, I, I, you know, like again, it's only $2.99 just like all the other ones, but this is definitely worth it. I'm gonna explain more during the video, but you know, you fight all your way through the DLC to finally get a shot at Son of Cromorax, and um, yeah, here we go. How gorgeous! Look upon the majesty of the son of Koromorax! Like crab father, like crab son, so, um, I just, you know, that's what I said. Anyway, um, this is an awesome DLC. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it in just a second, but... Just to reiterate what I was talking about um, in the previous video, which you guys are going to see, um, this is the, for those of you not making the reference, this is basically the invincible boss fight from Borderlands 1, um, the original Borderlands, which got me, you know, in love with everything, um, which Borderlands is today. I'm super excited to see it keep growing. Uh, you know, I can't say that enough. Um, Borderlands is definitely my favorite series of all time. You know, I don't think I can ever stop posting it. I think as long as there's going to be Borderlands content out there, you know, you come here and, you know, I'll be the one posting it. So, um, yeah, let's, anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the boss fight, um, the, uh, DLC itself. So, this DLC is fantastic. I played it with my friend Josh, as you can see right here. Normally, when, um, new games or new DLC that comes out, I like to play them by myself first. Um, but I decided to play it with Josh because, one, there was an Invincible coming up, and you never know, um, you can never get enough help from your fellow Vault Hunters, and as well as, you know, we both haven't played Borderlands 2 in a while, and so we were kind of both rusty, and we been having a lot of fun playing different games together, so we decided, hey, why not, let's play this one together. I'm really glad we did. Um, I just want to say, I don't know if he's going to watch this or not, but I just want to say I had a lot of fun um, playing with him, and the scenery in this... DLC or the headhunter pack is fantastic. Uh, I don't want to, uh, you know, ruin it all for you guys, but there's like, there's a part where you're like underwater basically. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to ruin it for you. Um, there's, you know, there's just a bunch of fantastic scenery. You know, the beginning cutscene where you're on the beach is great. Um, you know, there's obviously this waterfall. I mean, look at that. Like, how awesome is that to have that as your arena? Like, that is fantastic. Um, it, it just is a lot of fun, you know, uh, the enemies that would spawn, you know, they were kind of um, older enemies, but it was fine because, you know, honestly, it was the scenery and the color palette, you know, that was used really brought out this DLC a lot. Me and my friend, you know, obviously Josh, we were, we just kept saying over and over how, like, good it looked and, um, you know, Gearbox did a great job, especially for this only being on, you know, 360 and the PS3 and PC, like, um, obviously on PS, I mean PC, it'll probably look a little better, but, you know, for the hardware that these two consoles offer, you know, it looks fantastic, and I'm really excited to see, you know, what their new Borderlands game's gonna look like on the newer consoles, hopefully if they, you know, you know, let them be on there, which they haven't really said yet, but I'm really hoping they would, um, I wouldn't mind, you know, making some videos on the new consoles or anything. Uh, I'll talk about which one I might be getting a little bit later, but, um... But yeah, that's that's that. So, anyway, guys, this this is an awesome boss fight. For what happened was my friend Josh actually fell off a cliff. This is actually a cliff, so the arena actually is um just you know obviously circular, but there's um a space between the water and the you know the ledge or whatever. So you know you can fall off that and everything like that. And he thought he was trapped, but um eventually he just kept walking through the tunnel. Um, I don't know why I didn't try that to begin with, but he just walked through the tunnel and then he was able to drop back in and help with this, which is awesome. I think. You know, I would have been able to solo this um, Invincible pretty easy, I, I personally think. Um, you know, the secret is to, you see the green little dot, um, I know he's slack, oh wow, as soon as I said that he gets slagged. Um, the green little spots and everything on Cromarx, um, uh, the son of Cromarx is where you want to hit. Those are just critical hit points, um, or, you know, it does extra damage, everything like that. And, you know, that's, that's definitely how you can take him down quickly. Obviously, suppressing fire on him helps a lot. You know, he dives. 
Um, this in this boss fight, he dies a lot, and it's kind of hard to target him. So what you have to do is just kind of stay alive. And um, me and Josh figure the best way to do it is start where you start off. You're in a little cubby, which I know you're like, what? But you don't get knocked off the ledge like that. And if you're having trouble with that, then I'd recommend doing that. Um, you know, that's just I feel like that's maybe the best way. There's a lot of smaller p um, smaller minions too that come around. So you know, if you're having trouble, why don't um, I, if I were you, I would maybe pick up a, you know, commando on your team or a uh, mechromancer, you know, to do, you know, minion damage with, you know, the things you summon and everything like that. So, I don't know. Overall, I think this boss fight, I mean, this DLC was fantastic. Um, this is the final one that they are putting out, and it's really sad to see Borderlands 2, you know, fade away. But that just means they're going to be focusing on Borderlands 3 and the uh, Borderlands pre-sequel. So, I'm really excited for those. I'm going to have a bunch of videos, especially all the news that's coming out. Um, I have one more video after this one. It's going to be an in-prize video. I'm probably going to upload that one tomorrow um, just to space things out a little bit. And maybe I might have some filler videos from Borderlands 2 I want to talk about. There's some cool, um, you know, little things that you do. You, you can fight the son of Captain Flint, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and show that one um, as well as like a little filling video. So whenever that happens, you guys are going to see that. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. You don't get much for this boss fight. At least I didn't. But hey, you guys might be a little luckier than me, so... You know, I hope you guys enjoyed. So, previous video is the new Borderlands game informational video um, called uh, Borderlands: The Pre Sequel. It's fantastic. You know the things I've seen, um, the pictures and everything like that. It just it looks fantastic. I, I can't wait to play it. And feature video is a commando skill point guide. The reason I said that is because if you're having trouble in this boss fight, I think a commando is perfect. And um, if you don't know how to build them, well, there you go. I think that's going to help you out a lot. And I hope you guys enjoy. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you want to see more videos just like this one, please leave a thumbs up. Also, the best way to contact me is on Twitter, at MyHeroScape20. And if you want to see me play this game live, go to twitch.tv slash MyHeroScape20. So I'm working on uh, streaming more, guys. I know I haven't been as much as I probably should. Um, but I will work on that, and I promise you guys will get your streams as soon as I can. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace!